The decision is in accordance with a directive from the Ministry of Mining and Natural Resources led by Cabinet Secretary Salim Vouria. Vouria has added that his ministry will collaborate with most stakeholders to ensure that the mining industry boosts Kenya's economy. He has called on mineral traders to join social organizations to receive various training related to mining. Additionally, the ministry has stated that a special police unit will be established to ensure the security of minerals and their trade. Must witness, we declared mineral smuggling as an economic crime because currently we have seen situations where uh, people smuggle minerals across the country and we resolved yesterday that uh, mineral smuggling is an economic crime, crime and will be punishable as per the laws of our country. We will also call on a stakeholder engagement forum in the next two weeks so that we can have a conversation on how we can further better the reforms in the sector and make mining a viable business, a business which should operate like any other uh, and that should operate within the framework of the law. Mineral markets shall be opened in all regions to facilitate trade and all mineral dealers shall be required to operate from the set markets. Uh, and therefore we have already directed that they form cooperative societies so that they can prepare themselves for issuance uh, of licenses and permits and we will be able to run a training across the country for all artisanal mining committees uh, which will be working in the county governments to make sure that they are able to license uh, these important Kenyans. Women living with